Hello, welcome to another session. In this session, I have a talk about recombination, the meaning of recombination, the frequency of recombination, how the frequency of recombination help to construct chromosomal map, genetic map, or linkage map. So let's start recombination. Suppose that the chromosome, suppose that this is the chromosome which contains capital E gene and the capital B gene. Both the gene present on the particular site of the same chromosome. So, A gene present in a particular site in the particular locus and B gene also present on the particular locus of the same chromosome. It means that both the genes present on same chromosome, it means they inherent togetherly. They inherent togetherly, they assort togetherly. If both the genes present on different chromosomes, suppose that there is two different chromosomes and A gene present in one chromosome and another B gene present in another non-homologous chromosome. So, these are the two non-homologous chromosome. One chromosome contains capital A gene and another chromosome which contains capital B gene. Here, the inheritance of capital A not depend on the inheritance of capital B. It means they inherent independently. They assort independently. If the genes are present on a different chromosome, at that time the law of independent assortment is applicable. But if the genes are present on same chromosome, at that time, there is no application of law of independent assortment because, because these two genes present on same chromosome, it means that these two genes are linked to each other. They are linked to each other. That's why they inherent togetherly, they assort togetherly. But sometimes it also observed that these linked genes tend to separate from each other. That's why recombinants are produced. Suppose that this is the another homologous chromosome having small a and small b gene. At the time of gamete formation, at the time of gamete formation, this original combination may produce one gamete having A gene and the B gene and the original combination may have small a and small b. This is the original parental combination and other combination may develop if the crossing over taking place in between two loci here then the recombinant gametes may produce so one gamete having capital a and small b and another gamete may have small a and capital b so these two are the recombinant these two are the recombinant gametes and these two are the parental gametes so these are the parental gametes so because of the process of crossing over because of the process of crossing over two non-parental characters two non-parental gametes are developed so the the gametes or the progeny having parental character suppose that the progeny or the gamete having the parental character these are known as the parental and the gamete or the progeny having non-parental combination these are known as recombinant so here the parental combination here is a and b phenotype and another parent small a and small b phenotype but the non-parental these are capital A and small b, small a and capital B, these are known as the non-parental combination. 
non parental combination and these are known as the recombinant these are known as recombinant so what is the meaning of recombinant recombinant so the recombinant or the non parental combination developed because of the crossing over because of the crossing over because of the crossing over so what is the meaning of crossing over here at the time of gamete formation there is the exchange of part of chromatids in between two non sister chromatid of homologous chromosome which is known as the crossing over so because of the crossing over there is the production of recombinant or the non parental combination these recombinant or the non parental combination because of the process recombination the process is known as recombination the process by which recombinant are produced or non parental characters are produced this process is known as the recombination so what is the meaning of recombination re means again combination means fusion or the addition so here recombination this is the new combination of old gene or the parental gene which is known as the recombination so what is the meaning of recombination here this is the new combination new combination of old or parental gene which is known as recombination so recombination means the new combination the parental combination a and b these are the old combination a and small n and small b these are the old combination and the new combination is capital a and small b this is the new combination small a and capital b this is the new combination such new combination of old gene or old parental gene which is known as the recombination and the progeny or the offspring contains the parental character these are known as the parental and the progeny or the gametes which contains non parental character these are known as the recombinant suppose that this is the chromosome and such chromosome which contains gene a gene b and gene c here a gene and c gene both are far apart from each other than the gene a and b so a and b gene these two genes present nearer to each other than the gene a and c so the distance between two gene a and c which is very much it means that the strength of linkage here the strength of linkage will be very less why the strength of linkage will be very less because a big gap present in between a and c that's why a crossing over may takes place in between a and c in several side there is the several side to formation of crossing over that's why there is the several chance there are the several chance to separate the a and c gene that's why the strength of linkage will be less if the strength of linkage is less then if the strength of linkage is less then there is the production of more recombinants that is the production of more recombinants because the recombinants produced because of the crossing over that's why if the strength the strength of linkage is less which indicates that the production of more recombinants more recombinants 
and the distance between A and B, the distance between A and B which is very less as compared to A and C, it means, it means the strength of linkage, the strength of linkage which is more than the A and C. It indicates that if the strength of linkage is more, then it tends to remain the parental combination. So, if the strength is more, then the genes tend to remain in their original combination. So, both the genes A and B tend to remain in original combination. So, there will be less recombinants. There will be less production of recombinants. So, if the linkage strength is more, then less recombinants are produced. If the linkage strength is less, then more recombinants are produced. On the basis of this idea, on the basis of this logic, one of the student of Morgan, A. H. Storty Band, in the year 1911, suggested that the frequency of recombination or the frequency of recombinants may be used for the index of distance between two genes. If the frequency is less, it means that or which indicates that the distance between linked gene will be less. If the frequency is more, which indicates that the distance between two linked genes will be more. Suppose that the frequency is 1%. Suppose that the frequency, the frequency of recombination is 1%, which means that the distance between two linked genes will be 1 map unit. 1 map unit. So, 1 map unit means 1 centimorgan. Because of the honor of TH Morgan, we used Centi Morgan. This is the unit of distance of the gene on chromosome. So, the small c capital M, this is the Centi Morgan. This is the unit which used for the linkage map, for the construction of linkage map. And this is the imaginary distance. This is not the physical distance. That's why we are not using centimeter, angstrom, mu, millimeter. It is the imaginary distance on chromosome. Imaginary distance in between two linked genes on chromosome. If the percentage is 1%, it means that the distance between two genes will be 1 centimorgan. Let's take the one example. On the basis of the data of the test cross, I am going to work out the frequency of recombination as well as I am going to plot the genetic map. So let's take one example. Suppose that this is the one individual, suppose that this is the male individual having the phenotypic expression capital AE and capital BB. And another parent or the female individual which has the phenotypic expression small AA and small BB. Suppose that this is the parental generation. If you do cross, then in F1 generation, we get, we get capital A small A, capital B small B. Here the phenotypic expression is capital A small a, capital B small b. This is the F1 generation. When you are talking about the frequency of recombination, you have to do the test cross. So, the test cross, the cross in between F1 progeny with the recessive parent. So, here this is the dominant parent capital AA, capital BB, this is the phenotypic expression, 
and this is another parent the phenotype expression is the small a a small b b this is the recessive parent and this is the double recessive parent if you do the cross in between f1 of spring with the double recessive parent this is the double recessive parent having the phenotypic expression small a a and small b b without without crossing over f1 of spring it may produce two type of gametes one gamete having the parental combination capital a and capital b and now this gamete is known as the parental gamete and it may produce another gamete having the parental combination small a and small b this is the another parental gamete if the crossing over taking place in f1 progeny at the time of gamete formation suppose that crossing over taking place in between a gene and the b gene then what happens then we get two another more gamete having the non parental combination suppose that after crossing over we get here another two varieties of gamete having capital a and small b combination this is the new combination and another gamete having the non parental combination which is small a and capital b so these are the non parental combination so here we get this is the parental gamete and this is also a parental gamete so this is the parental gamete and this is also a parental gamete and here these two new combination are produced because of the crossing over so these are the non parental gamete or these are known as the recombinants so these are known as recombinants but the double recessive double recessive parent small a a small b b which produce one type of gamete one type of gamete and each gamete having small a and small b so this is the parental combination if you do the test cross then you find four types of phenotype because the crossing over taking place here the f1 progeny which produce four number of gametes here and the double recessive parent which produce only one type of gamete here so what happen so in f1 so this is the this is the gamete of f1 progeny if the we get then we get capital a small a capital b small b if the fusion taking place here then we get small a a and small b b if the fusion taking place in between these two gamete then we get capital a small a small b b if the fusion taking place in between these two gametes then we get small a a capital b small b if you observe then you find that these two are the parental combination why it is known as the parental combination the phenotypic expression here is the a and b a and b this is the phenotypic expression this is the parental combination and here the phenotypic expression is small a and small b so this is the parental combination suppose that here we get 455 number of individuals having the capital a and capital b phenotypic expression suppose that we get we get 445 number of 
individuals having the parental phenotypic expression that is small a and the small b and this is the non parental expression having capital a and small b this is the non parental capital a and the small b this is the non parental combination and these are known as the recombinant so these are the recombinants suppose that the number of individuals will produce about 49 number of individuals are produced having the capital a and small b phenotypic expression and this is another recombinant having small a and the capital b small a and the capital b this is the another recombinant phenotypic expression and the number of individuals suppose that here is 51 so how many number of individuals are produced in f2 generation if you add all the number of individuals of the progeny so you get 1000 so if you add the two parental combination two parental combination which is about 900 which is about 900 and the non parental combination or the recombinant the number of individuals which may be 100 before going to work out the frequency of recombination you have to arrange all the data sequentially suppose that uh, this is the genotype genotype and the number of offspring this is the data of the test cross the genotype capital a small a capital b small b this is the parental combination and the number of individual which is 455 and another combination is the small a a and small b b and the number of individuals which is 445 and another genotype which is capital A small a small bb this is the recombinants and the number is the 49 and another recombinant which is the small a capital B small b and the number of individual which is 51 so total number of individuals total number of offspring offspring produced in f2 generation of the test cross which is suppose that 1000 here there is 1000 and what is the frequency so before going through the frequency you have to know this is the recombinant this is the non parental combination and the recombinant individuals the total number of recombinant individuals which is 100 here and total number of parental individuals which is 900 so this is the parental individual or the parental progeny and this is the recombinants we have the formula to work out to work out the frequency of recombination the frequency of recombination which is also known as crossing over value so the frequency of frequency of recombination which is also known as crossing over crossing over value or COV. So the formula of the frequency of recombination, the number of number of recombinants, number of recombinants divided by total number of individuals or offspring, total number of offspring produced from produced from test cross produced from test cross multiplied by 100 
So this is the data of our example. That is the 100 number of recombinants. So 100, the total number of individual produced in F2 generation, which is 1000 multiplied by 100. Then we get, then we get 10. So the percentage or the crossing over frequency which is 10 percent it means that this is the frequency and the frequency which is directly linked with the distance in between two gene suppose that i am going to plot the genetic map suppose that this is the gene a and this is the gene b and what's the distance in between two gene our Frequency is 10%. It means that the distance between two genes, which is 10 centi Morgan here. This is the genetic map. So, what is the definition of the genetic map? So, genetic map, this is the linear graphical representation of sequence and the relative distance of the gene present on chromosome so what is the genetic map so genetic map this is the linear this is the linear graphical representation of sequence and relative distance between linked gene on chromosome on chromosome so here in this example the distance between two gene which is 10 centi morgan so this is not the actual physical distance on chromosome this is the imaginary distance this is the logical distance in between two loci on the same chromosome that is E gene and the B gene those are apart from each other about 10 centi morgan. So this is the whole about of the recombination. Thank you for watching.